Hey, what's up everybody? Val Toplu here with another guitar lesson. So here's what I wanted to do because I know I do a lot of advanced uh, guitar tutorials, but today I wanted to do something for beginners. And today what I want to teach you is common strumming patterns that beginners need to know. Uh, these are like a must. Uh, you have to have these under your belt and you can do a lot with at uh, these strumming patterns. So <clears throat> the chords that I'm going to use just to make this very, very basic, G to C. Okay, it's a regular G chord. So pinky on the high E, third fret, and then ring finger, third fret of the B. Okay, middle finger on the low E, third fret. And then uh, second fret of the A string with your first finger. And then we're gonna go to a C add nine, okay? All you're gonna do there is, from that G, you're gonna drop your middle finger down one, and then your first finger down one, okay? So here's what you got. X, which means you don't play the low E, and then middle finger on the third fret of the A, and then uh, first finger is on the D string, second fret, okay? and then pinkies on the high E of the third fret, and then ring fingers on the B string third fret. Okay. So, here's your very first strumming pattern. It's gonna start on the up. Up, down, up, down, down. Now, I would encourage you to put your left hand on the neck and just go, up, down, up, down, down. Just barely touch the strings. Up, down, up, down, down. Up, down, up, down, down. And I encourage you to say it as you're playing. So watch this. Up, down, up, down, down. Up, down, up, down, down to C. So that's the very first strumming pattern. It's. So here's how it would sound if we were to do like a full on progression. Let's just say G, E minor, C to D. I did there is I took the progression G E minor C to D and I started with up down up down down up down up down down so that's your very first strumming pattern that you need to know so if you know any other chords I encourage you to apply this strumming pattern to those chords say you play like a minor seven So that's your first strumming pattern. Second strumming pattern is down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Once again, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Once again, put your left hand on the neck, barely touch the strings. So you got this, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. We're just gonna use two chords, okay? Remember, this is for beginners. G to C. So you got this. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, and a switch. Now when you're playing, I encourage you to just relax the wrist. Anytime you feel really tense, just take your hand and just really relax it. Because one of the biggest mistakes that beginners make is they get really tense and when they strum, they'll strum deep inside the strings. And it sounds like that. Okay, so what you wanna do uh, is you wanna ride the wave. Okay, don't dive in. Just barely touch the strings. 
down, 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 up, down, up, down, and swash. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And as you get better, I encourage you to slowly increase your speed. Say you know uh, E minor, C, D to G, then I encourage you to play that progression using this strumming pattern, okay? And the goal is really to release the tension from your wrist, okay? Because you don't want, because the freer you become, I mean, the easier it is to play. So say I was to play some like, complicated as that sounds, or if I go That's all I'm doing. It looks complicated, it's not. But the reason I can do it is because I'm no longer tense, okay, when I'm strumming. So even if I was to play some like really relaxed notice I'm not going I'm very relaxed so when you do these exercises please relax your wrist okay so you got two strumming patterns so far that uh, that you can use and I would encourage you whatever chord shapes you know to apply them to uh, apply that strumming pattern to those chord shapes so let me give you another uh, chord progression to play using the strumming pattern a minor okay E minor, G, to D. And I encourage you to go down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Okay. Now, remember the secret. If you want to play fast, you need to play slow. Let me say that again. If you wanna play fast, you need to play slow. You need to trust the process. Don't try to speed up and just do this all in one day. It takes time, okay? You gotta trust the process and just take it a day at a time. And I would encourage you to rewind this video, watch it over and over if, if something's confusing to you, or just drop a comment below uh, and I'd be happy to answer your questions. But anyways, these are two strumming patterns that you need to know if you're a beginner. Thanks for watching, guys.